Hey guys, what's up? It's IG on the Disposable Gorilla channel. Coming at you on Thanksgiving. Oh, happy Thanksgiving to everyone. I hope everyone has a great day full of more food than you should eat. <laughs> relatives that annoy you and relatives that you love and the balance between the two. Um... And I hope you take the time to give thanks, whether you're an atheist, you're a theist, or what have you. I hope you sit down and actually take the time to think about the things that you're you're grateful for. And you know what? If you're grateful for someone, tell that someone you're grateful for them. You know, I think the holidays is a great time of year for us to contemplate the things that we're thankful for the people we're thankful for, and then a time to be able to express that. And I think if more people did that, then I think there'd be a little bit less seasonal depression. But that's just me. That being said, unfortunately, the conversation has to turn. And it has to turn towards this young man right here. His name is Forbidden Fruit. And I was introduced to him by a G-Man video. And I don't watch very many G-Man videos, but I saw that he had broken his silence, his hiatus, to uh, address this person. And I figured, well, I'll just go over and take a look and see what's going on with this guy. And nine times out of ten when I do that, you know, I'm not, you know, struck to, to do a video. But with this guy is another one of those guys that I just have to draw attention to. Because it's pretty clear he's a bigot. It's pretty clear he is intolerant of religion and religious people. Now, I understand the argument of being intolerant of intolerance. Fighting against bigotry. I understand that. But this guy isn't doing that. This guy just believes that religion needs to be eradicated, religious people should be mocked and insulted, and basically thinks that we're all idiots. He does suggest, or does admit, that there are many scientists that are believers in Christ and, and, and uh, follow scripture, but I don't think he thinks too highly of them. That being said... I think it's important to note that usually people like this have some kind of underlying or, or untold story in regards to why they're so militant, why they came from a religious background and then converted to this anti-theistic or militant atheism position. And I would advise anyone who has gone from you know, uh, being a theist or a Christian to this militant or anti-theistic point of view to take a long, hard look inside yourself and figure out why it is. Because um, it's not healthy and nothing good is going to come of it. You're not going to educate people with that kind of a position. I know you think you are. But really what you're doing, in my opinion, and in the opinion of, of many of my friends, is you're boasting your own arrogance. You're boasting your own self-pride. It's, it's like you have something to prove to yourself. And what you're doing is abusing others in doing so. Insulting others. Thinking that, oh, well, I'm righteous to do this because this person is stupid. They believe in an imaginary sky daddy and I'm freeing them of that slavery. Well, that's arrogant. Not only does it misrepresent what Christians actually believe. And by the way, Mr. Forbidden Fruit, with the apple as your icon. It wasn't an apple tree, dude. So your interpretation... Your representation of scripture from the get-go, from out of the gate, is incorrect. But I digress. The thing that really separates atheists and theists isn't whether there's a creator or not. 
It's the qualities of the creator. There was a creator to this universe. Now, whether that was a mind or whether it was naturalistic explanation, that's the difference. And so I would propose that we talk about the definition of a mind rather than argue over whether scripture is true or should it be taken literal. I would suggest we talk about, well, what defines a mind? And are we wrong to assign persons to a naturalistic or what's perceived as naturalistic um, process? Here's an example. Fire is a chemical reaction. Fuel is combusted with the aid of oxygen. And most people would just look at fire and say, well, this is a naturalistic occurrence. It's a chemical reaction, and that's it. But when you really study fire and ask a fireman, fire has this really interesting quality that sometimes it looks like it's searching. It looks like it's following some kind of directive for more fuel. Now, this might just be perception. Who knows? But I think it opens up the idea of maybe redefining what we consider to be a personal mind. Maybe our understanding of what a personal mind is, is wrong. And on the note of being wrong, Mr. Forbidden Fruit, another difference between you and I is that I can admit that my perception of God might be wrong. I might be perceiving this natural phenomenon as something different than it actually is. I can concede and say to you that, you know what, my beliefs might be incorrect. Can you do the same? Can you admit that maybe your perception of existence, your perception of the universe might be completely wrong? There might be an intelligent designer behind the creation of the universe, behind the creation of life. Whether it is done through naturalistic processes or what we would consider to be naturalistic processes or not, could your perception be wrong? Could you be wrong in persecuting religious people? And if so, and if you could admit that you could be wrong, is it ethical for you to continue on this tirade? Is it proper for you to insult, belittle, misrepresent, and twist scripture for your own agenda? I mean, isn't that what a lot of atheists claim organized religion has done, is use scripture to control people? Well, by twisting scripture from your perspective to try to get people to deconvert, aren't you doing exactly the same thing? Anyway, I could go on and on, but I'm not gonna. I got other stuff I want to do. I welcome a response. I welcome a heated discussion, an intellectual discussion. Thanks for watching, guys. Please make sure and share, rate, vote, all that crap, and I'll see you on the next one.